Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. Today, we're going to make us another delicious uh, cake recipe for the ladies that my wife volunteers with. The uh, last one I made, the banana poke cake, one of the like gangbusters. So today, we're going to make a simple one. It's uh, called a dump cake, and we're going to make a cherry dump cake. So without further ado, let's get to it because it's pretty simple. It's going to be good though. I'm not eating it. <laughs> Okay, so very simple ingredients. Let me go over those real quick. You got the canned uh, filling, the, the fruit filling. Oh, we got cherry today. I got a yellow cake mix, and I got me a couple sticks of butter there. And here I have a buttered, well, greased it up with butter, uh, 9 by 13 pan. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, besides greasing the pan, that should be the first thing. Then I'm just going to pop the lids on these... Uh, Cherry pie filling, or whatever you call it. And we're going to put that in first. And you want to try to get that level as you can. You want to make it nice. I'm not a cherry fan. I never have been, but my wife always likes cherries. I can do strawberry, but anyway, the recipe here calls for cherries. So I'm hoping that the ladies at the thrift store really like this and enjoy it, but if not, oh well, I'll make another one. <laughs> All right. That's right. That's almost empty. I thought there was more in there. <laughs> but as we can clearly see, there's nothing left in there. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know. It's probably in the dishwasher. Whoops, sorry guys. This is a stretch from what I've been doing. I'm, we, I'm still carnivore. I, I eat the carnivore stuff, but I figured this here, that's a little treat for the little ladies. Give them a little something. So, anyway, so now we're going to level this off in the pan. As you can see, once you level it out, it's really not that thick of a layer of it, but uh, it'll be good. I don't know if you guys can hear, we were sitting out on the patio. It's such a nice, beautiful, steamy day in Florida. <laughs> but no, we were in the front yard doing stuff this morning. We took a little water break, came inside. And now... I'm in here making a cake, but I know that all, all the uh, little ladies over there, they're going to appreciate this tomorrow. They like, you know, they work hard for what they do. It's a hospice uh, thrift store thing. I don't know. I'm not getting into all of that. Anyway, so that being said, we're going to take our cake mix and we're going to dump that in there. But again, we want to try to make sure that it's kind of leveled out. You want to sprinkle it all over the top. So I'm going to try my best. I ain't never made these before, so... I used to make cakes every so often, but I haven't done any anything like this, a dump cake. When Penny said, make a dump cake, I'm like, what? <laughs> I said, what do you do with it? She said, just dump it all in the, in the, in the pan. I said, yeah, okay. <laughs> a little more to that than meets the eye, but... Okay, so let me get this all the way off here. Um, this was a nice little thought. It's, it's simple. And really, I mean, you really can't get much simpler than this. But anyhow, so we're going to sprinkle this on top of the, the fruit filling thing here, the pie filling. And don't worry if I get any mountains, I'm going to try to level those out too, because sprinkling this out of the bag ain't the simplest, ain't the easiest thing to do. I was going to put it on a plate, but then I thought, what's the difference? I can't believe, you know, I'm only a few years old, but I never had a dump cake before. I imagine you can use any kind of filling. 
one that like a cheesecake. I wonder if you could do that with a cheesecake. I don't know. So, let me get this uh, offset spatula. I think that would work good in here. I was thinking earlier, you know, what am I going to do to level this, level this out pretty much? And here's what I got me an offset spatula. So, I'm going to just try that, try my best at making this here as level as I can get it. And probably even as I can get it, huh? I had my, um, my Aunt Pat used to have, she used to make, uh, she was the baker of the family, so she used to make some nice apple pies and all this kind of stuff when I was a kid. I used to love eating the, the pies when she made them. Uh, my grandmother, she made nice carrot cake. She used to send me that when I was in the military. And heck, before I can get the box even open, everybody's had their hands in there trying to get it. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty, I think that's pretty even. So now let me get my butter back out of the refrigerator. Try to keep it cold because I don't want to stick my meat hooks on there and lay it in there. Now, the funny thing is it doesn't tell you how many, you know, pieces to get. Uh, the recipe I looked at, it just said, you know, put them on there. So I got like about, I ain't gonna lie, Penny, Penny uh, cut the butter for me. It's a good thing it wasn't cheese. I'd hate to say Penny cut the cheese. <laughs> but that's okay. Now it doesn't say these things have to be uh, touching or anything. I'm hoping I don't need another stick of butter, but if I do, that must mean I cut these, should we cut these too thick. But they'll all melt because you're going to cut cook this for 35, 40 minutes. Yeah, we're going to need more butter pan. I'm telling you, she's not even here. She's taking a shower. And by the way, I'm using unsalted butter. At least that's the recipe that I saw. Hold on. I'm going to cut up some more butter and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got, actually what I got here is uh, <laughs> two and a half sticks of butter. <clears throat> I don't think it's supposed to be that much, but however, I don't know how thin we're supposed to cut it. We cut them pretty thin. But I guess it was supposed to be thinner than that. But at any rate, and the only thing's going to be that there'll be a buttery rich uh, dump cake. So I got the oven already heated up for 350. I'm going to pop this in there for about 40 minutes, 35 minutes to 40 minutes. I'm going to check it and see how it looks. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys, there you go. <clears throat> it's a total of 40, 45 minutes maybe. Only because I wanted to get a little more uh, golden brown. I think it turned out good. I don't know. I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> but at any rate, uh, my wife thought it should have been browner, but I don't want to keep leaving it in there. As you can see, the cherry stuff started bubbling through. Anyway, it looks good. I uh, hope the ladies at the hospice care, I mean, the hospice or thrift store like it. Uh, so anyway, that's it. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you think I put too much butter in there, let me know. <laughs> so this is Mr. Dan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.